Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about a problem with the Google Chrome browser. And that problem is that it won't start sometimes or it won't start at all. This issue is very common on Windows 10 and a lot of Windows 10 users reported this issue. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and some um, steps that could help you fix this problem. So now, if you're using Chrome and it is not starting, First of all, I recommend you try to create a local account, a new user account with admin rights and see if the problem is fixed when using that user account. So how can you do that? Just go and click on start, then click on settings and then go and click on accounts. Then in the left side, click on family and other users and then on other users click on add someone else to this PC. You can add an email, a Microsoft email to that new user, but you can click on I don't have this person sign in information to create a local account. Then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Enter a username, let's say uh, tech-based, and you can add a password, but it is not really necessary. And then click on next. And now we have this user tech-based as a local account, and then we can click on change account type and we can select administrator and then okay. Now we have the new user, which is tech-based administrator local account. What do we have to do next? Right click on the start and then click on sign out. Now here in this window, just click and here down in the left side, you're gonna have those two users on your PC. Select tech-based and then click on sign in. So basically, this is the new username that we created. As you can see, we are seeing the setup that everyone sees when they install, when they fresh install their Windows operating system. Uh, wait a few minutes, and after the process is finished, check out if Google Chrome is running. Now, if Google Chrome is running and everything is okay on the new user account, I'm gonna show you what you have to do next in order to replace the new user with the old user and not lose any data from it. But in case it is not working, the only solution I have for you is to go to Windows and Settings and then type in here Reset and then click on Reset this PC and then click on Get Started to reset the PC using this Windows tool. So this tool will let you keep all the files that you have and only the software will be reinstalled. It is a very quick and easy process and I recommend you do it if the problem is not fixed when you created a new account. Now, if the problem is fixed, as I've said, with the new account, I'm gonna show you how to replace that account with your old account. To continue the process, what we have to do is to go into the search, type in here, regedit, right click on registry editor and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. And now navigate to HK local machine, software, Microsoft, then go down a bit to Windows NT here, current version, you can expand this section a bit to see better, and then go down to profile list, expand profile list. Now look for a folder with a longer name like this one, and here look at the last number and, and make sure it is your username. How you can see if it is your username, click on it, and now as I'm clicked on this, you'll see that the user is tech-based, and as I'm clicked on this, the user is Emmy, and which is the old account. So this is the account we're interested in, the old account. What we have to do next, after you selected your old account, right click on it and then click on rename. And after the name, add a .old and then press enter. And after that, you can easily close registry. To back up the files, open the file explorer, go to this PC, local disk C, where you have your Windows installed, users. And of course, here again, look for the original account name, which is Emmy in my case. Right click on it, rename and add a .old after it and then press enter and this should easily back up your files. So this was the video for today, guys. I'm hoping that this video was useful and you managed to fix the issue. If it was, don't forget to leave a like down below this video and also subscribe to the TechBased channel for more videos like this. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.